What's going on guys, welcome back to another Photopea tutorial, and this one I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a cool gaming logo really easily for free using Photopea. So stick around and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is go down to my description, it'll be a link to this video. And this is a graphics pack that we'll, we'll be using for this tutorial. So go down in the description of this video. Click Mediafire Download. And then click Download. And close this tab. It's downloading right here as a zipped file. So you're just going to want to extract, extract it to the desktop. So once it's done downloading, open it. Extract all and then do desktop hit select folder once you click the desktop extract and now it's extracting it to my desktop okay here it is on my desktop it's extracted so now what we want to do is just close out of this okay so now what you want to do is open Photopea, click new project and for a logo we're going to be doing 800 by 800 which is right here so just click on that name it and hit create okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this folder and you can see there's a bunch of options right here so you can just drag it into your project as you need it so say we need some lighting there's a ton of options here and we can just drag it on there if we need it so it's really nice it's not a PSD so that's also convenient but we're gonna start out without using any of these effects yet so we're just gonna make that bigger. Actually, first what we're gonna do is we're going to go to stock pack right here. That we just downloaded and find a random one that you wanna use for your logo. I'll just use number 16. Drag that on there. And now I'm going to resize it to where it fits my screen. Okay, so I resized it to fit this. Now I'm gonna go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm just going to blur it a bit. And you see there's white around it. Now I'm just going to make it bigger. So you can't see that. Like that. And I'm going to go up to image. Adjustments. Brightness and contrast. Turn the contrast up a little bit. Because it's super bright for some reason. And image adjustments. Vibrance. Turn that up. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get our text tool. Click anywhere on your canvas, and we're going to resize this to about 300. And just type the first letter of your YouTube channel. So I'm just going to put a T because there's something I saw that you can do with the T that's really cool. So I'm just going to find a font. I'm going to use this one, Vega. I don't know. Click on that. I need to make it a little bit bigger, actually. So I'm going to make that 400, 500. That looks good. Hit that check mark. Now move it to the center. Right here. Hit double click on it. I'm going to go to color overlay and make it like a purple or blue. Bluish purple. And I'm going to add a satin as well. So I'm just going to adjust it the way I want it to be. Like this. A lighter purple or darker purple or even a blue okay so this is looking pretty good I'm gonna add a drop shadow change the angle to 90 degrees turn the distance up a bit like this I'm going to add an outer glow but I'm gonna change it to purple Change the blend mode to normal, like this, but I'm actually going to turn the opacity down, just so you can barely see it, but it adds a nice effect to it. Hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in at the bottom, go to my lasso tool right here, and I'm going to choose the polygonal. I'm going to start at the bottom left, and then cut upwards like this. 
connect back to the start. So when I hit delete, I need to rasterize it first. So right click on it, rasterize it. Now when I hit delete, it cuts it like this. And it looks like that. So it's really cool so far. I'm going to add some more things to it. So now this is where our pack comes in. So I'm going to find some lighting that I want to do. So light. Find like a blue one. This one works. Resize it so it fits. Like that. You might want to make your text bigger than mine. So I'm going to resize the text actually because I'm not too happy with the size. It's a little too small for my liking. So I'm just going to hold shift, drag it up. Move it to the center. Like this. Looks pretty decent. Now I'm going to go back to light and add this right here. And now I'm going to change it to screen right here. I'm going to resize it to where it's bigger. Now this gives it a really nice look. I'm going to turn the opacity down on it and put that behind the text. So it kind of gives it some more depth. Turn it down a lot. So this is really all you need to know. It's really not that hard. I hope this helped you guys. If it did, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.